Hey, Granny Zabner, I believe that's our ring. I had no good lum, I believe you're right. I'll see. Hello, John him down store. This is Lum and Abner. <laughs> Let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, Lum still can't reconcile himself to the fact that he's been replaced by Caleb Wehunt in the office of school board president. And ever since the election, Lum is certain that every move that Caleb makes is a downward step in the Pine Ridge educational system. As we look in on the little community today, we find the ex-president in the Jotham Downs store and library. He's talking on the telephone. Well, that's the whole story, Ezra. How's that? What do you mean you think it's a good idea? But listen, Ezra. Well, now look, Ezra. I don't believe you realize what that'll do to our school system. Wait, wait just a minute, Abner, for goodness sakes. Will you hash up? I'm talking on the phone. Oh, excuse me. Go ahead. Well, all right. I'll talk to you about it some other time then. All right. Goodbye. That Nora minded, Ezra. What's the trouble now, Long? Oh, nothing. Well, what is it? Oh, just some junk that's come up. Are you still worrying yourself about that school board stuff? Well, that's a serious situation, Abner. Awful serious. Ah, oh, pretty, pretty. Well, it is. You know what this big, fine, intelligent school board president of ours has done now? Caleb Weehunt, you mean? Of course that's who I mean. Oh, well, you, you know what he's that. done? No, He's no, got up a plan to where he's going to change the list of subjects that the scholars are supposed to take up. Huh. He's going to throw out such subjects as history and geography and literature and long division and grammar and all such as that. Well, what's he aiming on the young'uns learning over there? He says he wants to learn practical junk. Practical junk? Yeah, like blacksmith work and shoe repair and greasing cars and running a feed store and fixing roofs and cutting hair. Well, I do know. He wants to learn the young'uns all them things right there in school? Yes, sir. Huh. And running a liver stable and milking cows and plowing. Milking cows and plowing? Yeah. Well, them subject for girls, Long. No need for a boy to learn plowing and stuff like that, a woman's work. All he's got to do is get married. He don't have to do that kind of work. Of course, now, if a young'un's aiming on growing up to be a bachelor, why, he might take up that subject in school. Reckon that's the idea that uh, Caleb wants it did, Long? I don't know what the idea none of this is, even uh, if he had an idea or not. Uh, Just imagine sending your young'un off to school every morning to learn barn painting. Barn painting? That's one of the new subjects. Doggy, there's a class you list us as Quincy will be proud to get started. <laughs> Why would he? Well, he'll more likely try to get the youngest to do their studying over at his barn. He's been trying to get it painted for my, my two years now. Granny, just think, in ten years from now, Pine Ridge will be full of barn painters. There won't be no barns to paint. Why won't they? Because the town will be ruined by then. Plum ruined. Huh? Won't be nobody in town to <laughs> education. Well, won't none of them be smart enough to make a living, hardly. Well... Can't they make a living out of them other things that he's going to learn them at? Shoe repairing and cutting hair and greasing cars. Frank Foster does pretty good greasing cars down there at his gasoline station. Yeah, home. but he went to school some. He learned how to read and write and stuff like that. Well, yeah, how about, about Moe's Moose? He ain't starving to death in that barber shop of his. He's the worst one barber I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah, yeah. but I'm going to try to explain this to you, Abner. Huh. I just wish you could hear Professor Sloan tell what a terrible thing it is. Oh, uh, don't the professor like the idea? Well, of course not. He told me if the plan went through, uh, he's going to quit his teaching job here. Going to quit? Yeah, going to walk right out, stop. Well. And I don't know where we could get another teacher with the way things are now. now no, 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 no. Of course, Caleb thinks that they, that won't matter none because he's going to have the town folks do the teaching. You mean, uh... Folks living right here in town is going to do the teaching? That's exactly what I mean. Huh. He wants to have Moe's Moots teach barbering, of course. Yeah. Harry Hodgkins will learn them how to run a liver stable. Eugene Blevins learn them how to uh, repair roofs. And Jeff teach butchering. Well, I do know. Well, who's going to pay all these folks for that long? Oh, they won't get paid. Huh? Just get paid their expenses is all. 
Paul? Caleb thinks they would all be willing to donate a little bit of their time for the good of the community. Well, I don't believe he'll get very far that long. I know Moe's boots ain't going to do anything for nothing, I can tell you. Well, now, wait a minute. There's where you're wrong. That's the worst part about it. Huh? Caleb has talked to most of them fellas, and they're all anxious to do it. They are? Yeah. Imagine a fellow like Ira Hodgkins, for instance, being a school teacher, a (laughs) professor. <laughs> Can't hardly even write his own name on it. Can't write it at all without lawing his tongue out. No, doggy, that does seem peculiar. <laughs> I, being a teacher, I'd love to see that. <laughs> I've been calling the other board members. That was Ezra I was talking to when you come in. Just yeah, now. I heard you call his name. I've been trying to get them to vote again this idea, Caleb's. And do you know that every single one of them's in favor of it? Well, I do know. Every one of them. Huh. Even Squire Skimp. Squire Skim. Yeah, I was disappointed in him. I, I thought he had more sense than that. Of course, I reckon he figures that he'll get to teach him insurance selling. Oh, sure. That's the reason right there. Let's get him interested in the insurance, and then he'll sell him some. Why, sure, yeah, that's Squire. Yeah, now, ain't that, that the worst one plane you ever heard in your whole life? Why, no. Of course not. Huh? What's that? that? That's the best idea we've had in this town in a long time. I know because I just wished I could have went to a school like that myself. Well, if that don't beat the bugs of fight. I know little Pearl taking an awful lot of junk in school. Um, she never had no use for her. Well, that geography's for incident. What's wrong with geography? Well, they learned her where the oceans are at, but there's never nothing she could do about it, Long. Of course not. She couldn't move to one of them. Couldn't use them for nothing. No, but she knows where they're at. Well, yeah, but they'd have been sitting there where Pearl knowed about it or not, Lum. That had no effect on the ocean. Are you turning again, me too? No, I ain't turning again. I just think that's a good idea. I never thought it'd come to this. My own friend and partner, Et Tu Brutus. Well, Lum, I just figure if the young... Huh? What'd you say about eating? I never said nothing about eating. I said Et Tu Brutus. That's what I thought you said. Now, what does that mean? That's a fern language. Well, it must be. I never heard that word before. Uh, what does it mean? You ate too much? No. Ate two apples? No. Two oranges? Of course not. Well, what is it you ate two of? I never ate two of nothing. You All said I... you did. You said ate two brutuses or whatever they are. Brutuses ain't nothing to eat. Well, what did you eat them for then? Like? I never ate them. You said you did. You must have liked them, or else you never would have ate that second one. What'd they Ab- taste like? Admiral, will you listen to me for half a minute? Et tu, Brutus, is just a Latin expression. It means, and you too, Brutus. Uh, huh? Brutus is the name of a man, and he killed Caesar, and that's when he Caesar? made the Caesar? You mean Cedric's dog? No. That's the name of Cedric's dog? How'd this fella kill him? Poison him and then eat him? No. Huh? No, this is a different Caesar, and when Brutus stabbed him, why, Caesar looked at him and said, Et tu, Brutus. Well, for the land thing. He said that right out loud? Yeah, I reckon he did. Dog, that must have been an awful smart dog to be able to talk that away. Dog? Yeah, you're right. That couldn't have been Cedric's dog. Oh, <laughs> no, that old hound of his, you can't even learn him to roll over, let alone talk. <laughs> well, it... Whose dog was it, Lom? It weren't no dog at all. This Caesar was a man. A man? Oh, my goodness. Have you notified Uncle Henry Lunsford? Why, of course not. What, you ought to do it, Lum. Uncle Henry's a town marshal. If this fella actually been killed, he ought to know Abner, about. this happened a long, long time ago. It did? Well, of course it did. Uh, Uncle Henry don't know about it yet? Oh, for goodness sakes. Abner, don't you ever read anything? Why, sure I read. I read everything, Lum. But we ought to do something about this. We ain't got time to talk about reading, Lum. Somebody's been killed around here. We ought to call Uncle Henry and tell him, get up a posse and hunt for him, Lum. I bound you they went for them swamps down there along the river. It's too late to get up a posse. No, it ain't. It's never too late. We'll track him down. Let me get to that telephone. Caesar's been killed. Abner, get away from that telephone. Lum, we got to tell Uncle Henry about it. You mean to stand there and tell me you don't know who Julius Caesar is? Oh, Julius Caesar. Is that who you've been talking about? Why, sure. (laughs) Why didn't you say so? (laughs) Why? Sure, or wait a minute, Tolan. You got his last name wrong. It's Ju- Julius Sessler. Sessler? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I don't mean him. That's I'm his talking... name. He lives right out here south of town. I know where the Sesslers live, and I know Oh, me old Julius but I ain't dead, Tolan. Fact says he's in the store here. Why, it ain't been over two days ago. Look, just as far as ever. I'll admit he lost some weight, but I know he ain't dead long. I talked to him. He talked with plenty of sense, yeah. Listen, Abner, just forget this uh, whole thing. Where about thing. Forget you I hear all these it. rumors, Lom, anyway? I said just forget the whole thing. All I'd done was say et tu Brutus, and you... Now, wait a minute, make... Lom. Let's get this straight now. Who 
was it that done the eating? This Brutus feller or old man Cecily? It weren't neither one of them. Was it the dog? Oh, for goodness sake. Well, maybe it was whatever he ate that killed him, Lum. Maybe he weren't stabbed. Listen, you don't Adler, know that. No dogs were stabbed or killed or poisoned or nothing else. I was talking about you. Me? I ain't dead, Lum. Yeah, well, I when I was referring to Brutus, I actually meant you. Huh? What Arda said was, and you too, Abner. Et to Abner. Now, just a minute here, Lum, Edders. Don't try to accuse me of nothing. I never ate none of them. Fact says I don't even know what it is we're supposed to be eating. It weren't me, and I honest it weren't. Abner, I never accused you of eating nothing. You nor nobody else. Well, all who I... done it then? Oh, was it you after all? Uh... No, it weren't. Fact is, I ain't hardly had nothing for the last week. Well, what? Oh, wait a minute. Is that it? Are you hungry? Hungry? Have you just been hinting around trying to get me to ask you with a place for supper tonight? Well, if that don't beat the boat. <laughs> Why didn't you just come right out flat-footed and tell me, Lum, you hunger? I'll call up Elizabeth right now and tell her to fix a big meal for you. Wait a minute, Lum. Where are you going? I'm going out, Summers, and have a nice, pleasant, nervous breakdown. Goodbye. Well, here, wait a minute. There comes Grandpappy Spears, Lum. Maybe he knows. Hey, Lum. Oh, my. Where are you going? Hey, Lum, I'm speaking to you. Yeah, for the long sake. What's got into him, Abner? Oh, I don't know, Grandpappy. Be honest, I hate to say it about Mom, but I'm just afeard all this school board ruckus has affected his mind. He affected his mind? Yeah, for instance, he thinks old Julius Sessler's been dead a long time, and then he thinks he's been seeing a talking dog, and I don't know what all. Well, I do know. You figure the school board's done that to him? Well, that's just my opinion. I believe that's what done it, yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. Of course, now, it might just have been something he had, too. I dog as it might be at that. Uh, Grandpap, do you know what a Brutus is? Brutus? Yeah. Never heard of it. Well, I never did neither, but whatever it is, Lom at two of them. And that's just about where he's going right now, is back to get another. <laughs>